Okay, so we've done the two upside down drawings. How did you go? Was it any better than last week, do you think? Did you find it any easier to switch off and start to see things as they are instead of naming the parts that you're drawing? It'd be really interesting at this point to have a think about that and just see if you can see the improvement yet already um, and see if you can understand what it is that we're talking about yet. It can take a little while to click and for things to kind of fall into place. So don't be too concerned if you're not getting it at this stage. Keep trying and you will find that it'll just suddenly kind of click into place and, and you'll understand it. And it's really fascinating to kind of see and, and witness. And you'll see it in your drawings as well. Either way, make sure that you sign and date what it is that you've drawn. It's again really important to take pride in your work, even if it's just an exercise, like it's really important to acknowledge what you're doing. And if you want to, you know, feel free to write some notes on how you felt while you were drawing. Were you able to switch off? Um, you know, did you have a massive revelation? You understand something new? You know, those kinds of things if you note in your diary are fantastic to look back on and be able to compare in six weeks time or a year time, year's time, that sort of thing. Highly recommend taking notes. <laughs> okay, so we're done with upside down drawings. It is something that I recommend that you do from time to time anyway, just for the fun of it. It's an interesting exercise to see how well you can actually draw by not understanding what it is that you're looking at. It's a funny phenomenon, but it's really good. Um, if you don't have simple images like I've been able to give you, you know, things like kids books um, or, you know, images that are, are quite simple are really good to just turn upside down and draw. Things like cereal packets, like again, kids cereal packets that maybe have cartoons on them and that sort of thing, flip them up the other way and have a draw. Uh, and they're great little easy <laughs> options uh, around the house to, to practice a little bit. So I highly recommend and I'd love to hear how you go.